It was first time in my high school days. I heard of the name G-Shock. Always tempted to them. Had the craving to explore and own one of these. But the price they carried at my high school time was a bit higher than I could realistically afford to pay for a watch. Time passed and I got into mechanical watches to the point that anything not automatic was simply not a piece of cake for me personally. The tons of different G-Shock models failed to make an identity for me, but with the Casio, the interest has sure sparked again. What makes this particular G-Shock a very strong contender against every other digital watch, including other G-Shock references, is its design that sets it apart from the crowd. What exactly is then special about the design? Let's dive into it. Before you get too far down the track on this video, in the interest of your time, let me mention that my reviews are purely based on aesthetic of the watch, how it wears on the wrist, how it feels in real life, the history, the quality of manufacturing, the overall experience and pleasure from the wrist wear, and not so much about the function and operation of different time zones. So I will keep this review focused on the same aspects of aesthetics and wrist experience. To save your time, I will however link the third party video below where I believe the functions of this watch are adequately explained. Starting with the name, if you were thinking where the name Casio came from, this is due to the resemblance this model has or the inspiration in its design it has taken from. The watch Audemars Piguet Royal Oak that changed the whole mechanical watch industry with its bold and aggressive design and made an icon. Royal Oak, as designed by Gerald Gentile in 1971, was the first luxury steel watch with octagonal bezel with visible screws and integrated bracelet design, something that no eye had ever seen before. A watch made of steel that broke all the traditions of watchmaking and at the time of its release, it was the first luxury steel watch to cost more than gold or precious metal watches. The Casio features a similar design where you have octagonal bezel on the case yet without any screws and then the strap and case lugs also feature an integrated watch design. A watch that does not discriminate between the case and the strap and as such the transition of the case into the strap is fluid enough that the watch appears to be one single body as opposed to typical watch cases that are then simply strapped to a band or a bracelet. The watch showcases a very simplistic yet futuristic design where it has all the angles and profiles that speak for its personality. Yet the all black texture and flesh give it the stealth look that simply change the whole experience. I particularly like the configuration with all black watch face, all black hour markers, dial hands and the strap. The design is bold and aggressive to speak out for its presence, yet the all black tone with the matte texture leaves it with the character where from 10 meters away it would look like all black band without any sharp corners and bends. But when you start to look at it up close, you start to experience the finer details where you have the octagonal bezel and even the writing on the bezel to state the functions of the buttons on the case. You start to see the digital display at 4 o'clock with again black background and light grey digits on display. The display for the day of the week at 9 o'clock and then the all black hour markers that even have the minute graduations. Again, everything is on display yet not offered on display at a random look. The texture of the bezel and the strap is also matte black which means that the watch will absolutely not reflect any light or throw away the blingy reflections whatsoever. I really like the design character where the texture of the watch case complements the overall looks and Casio have delivered the intended purpose successfully. You have the Royal Oak inspired watch but it doesn't speak out aloud the resemblance. You have to come close and look at the finer details to appreciate it. This all black configuration also has an indirect resemblance in another aspect that isn't spoken of as yet. The form of the watch. We live in a world where the watches today are worn for the wrist experience they offer, how well they keep up with your personality and in a nutshell how they look on your wrist. This all black Casio has that X factor due to those stealth looks where it simply intrigues you to come closer and look at the finer details. 
It offers everything and the functions a modern digital watch does, but not at the cost of the looks. Most compare this Casio Oak to be the inspiration from Royal Oak, and I do agree with that somewhat, due to the size it comes in, which on paper quite closely sits near the 39mm or maybe 41mm Royal Oak. But I personally think that this Cassie Oak has more characters of Royal Oak Offshore instead of standard Royal Oak. Offshores are big bad boys of AP. And although they again offer the same highest level of experience in the steel luxury watches, they come on rubber strap. And then the Cassie Oak in its stealth looks does steal some of those characters and appearance of Offshore models, especially with the octagonal bezel and then the watch case attached to the strap as opposed to the bracelet on standard Royal Oak. Another strong character of Casio Oak is the size that the watch comes in. Where G-Shocks are mostly known for their crazy big sizes, this G-Shock is actually very small and slender in its overall feel, looks and weight. The case size if you compare at the bezel is only 40mm and lug to lug of the watch is under 49mm. So the size of this G-Shock is very variable. The integrated bracelet design complemented with the smaller case size means that the watch sits on the rest fairly well. The lugs taper down on top surfaces but there is no such tapering on the lower sides of the lugs meaning that the watch will sit relatively flat on the wrist rather than contouring to the wrist which isn't ideal. The watch is very thin at under 12mm and then the weight of the watch is only 50 grams on the scale meaning that although it's a super comfortable watch there's not much weight on the wrist and it can be a positive or negative subject to your taste and preference. The strap on the watch is 25mm at the case and then it tapers down to 18mm at the buckle. The strap is really long and one size for all so if you have smaller wrists like mine the strap will come all the way around towards the case on the other side and you can see the open end of the strap on the wrist view. I simply don't like the way the strap at 12 o'clock side of the case ruins the overall symmetry of the wrist view. This is relatively an easy fix and if Casio offer a smaller size strap for this watch, the problem is easily fixed. Another gripe I have is that the strap although is 25mm at the case, yet it looks narrow and unbalanced for the watch case. I'll spill the beans here and as much as this watch has taken the inspiration from Royal Oak. It has also copied some design characters from Patek Philippe Nautilus 2. The ears you see on the watch case at 3 and 9 o'clock position between the pushes is an inspiration from Nautilus which comes with the hinges on these ears to screw the case. As much as the ears add the design tone to the watch, the watch case horizontally becomes 45mm and then the 25mm strap does look very narrow and unbalanced. For reference, the 39mm Royal Oak comes with 26mm wide bracelet, 42mm offshore with 28mm strap and the 44mm offshore with 30mm strap and this case at 45mm comes with only 25mm strap which is even narrower than 39mm Royal Oak and it simply looks off and disproportionate. Little things in design and watchmaking do change the experience completely. The watch is light so calling it top heavy is not fair. But how large the case looks and then how small and slender the strap looks with it, it does look unbalanced to me personally. I'm not too impressed with the overall quality on the strap as well and it does look quite cheaper in its quality. But for the price of the watch, you really can't complain. The watch case back is nicely brushed stainless steel to offer 200 meters of water resistance and states carbon core guard which is basically the technology or material that allowed Casio to make this G-Shock so thin due to the thinner layer of plastic in the case yet having the same sturdy protection. Casio is that fun watch that offers all the functions, convenience and ruggedness of a digital watch yet comes in the form where on top of all multiple time zones and functions, you get that feel of the watch where you actually enjoy wearing it. What's more interesting is that the all black matte finish has that mysterious and cool look to it that when you see it from distance, you are intrigued to see it up close and find out more about it. And then when you come closer to experience it, 
the whole new world of octagonal bezel and integrated case design experience begins for you. For me personally, I'm in the state of appreciation of watches, where anything not mechanical does not constitute a watch making for me personally. The ticking of hands, winding of coils and meshing of gears tell me more precious stories than the time on any digital display. And if it doesn't operate mechanically, I'm out.